commentary. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. Good to see you. Hi. Nice to know you. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> I can't okay. believe you didn't do one, hey girl. Oh, you should have gone in. I, you, I couldn't. I've got a cold, and my name is Steve Zaragoza. I am healthy, but fighting off Steve's cold, mm -hmm. hopefully, and my name is Meg Turner. I am Trisha Hirschberger, and I have not gotten either Steve's cold or Meg's almost cold. But she does have the clap. No, no. So welcome to Nerd Com Com, guys. This is a show where we get to uh, talk about the comments that you've left on our videos on SourceFed Nerd this week. But before we jump right into comments, let's take a look at some of the art that we found on the interwebs. Please. <laughs> Table talk where we got a chance to talk about wrestling, WrestleMania, WWE, all that fun stuff. And we also talked about uh, getting the sex talk from your parents. And uh, you guys had a lot to say about that stuff. Johnny Tempest said, never got the talk, still a virgin, and it's my 20th birthday today, FML. Don't be sad. You save it for somebody special, baby. You Trisha, do. first of all, I want to correct you. It's actually pronounced WrestleMania. Oh, yeah? Not many people know that. Johnny Tempest says, never got the talk. No, you read that one already. Yeah, I thought you were doing a bit. <laughs> Lord Zadig says, The Departed is hands down the best remake of all time. Would you agree with that, Steve? I don't know the best remake of all time. You know what the best remake of all time is? Huh. The Thing. And I'm not talking about the fucking bullshit thing that came out recently that they still called The Thing, even though they shouldn't have called it The Thing because people are going to go to the video store that doesn't exist anymore and say, hey, can I rent The Thing? And then they're going to give you the shitty one. And then you go home and not enjoy John Carpenter's The Thing. But John Carpenter's The Thing is a remake of a movie called The Thing from Another World. The more you know. Ding, 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 ding. Also, the Dawn of the Dead remake is pretty solid, too. You guys ever seen the that? The Dawn of the Dead remake is probably the only remake that I could say is, like, a good... Solid. Like, solid. Solid. Good. Zack Snyder. I'm gonna invent an app that's called Movie Hipster. And every time I hit it, somebody, like, Steve will pop up and then just say, <laughs> like, speak at my face about movies. Sometimes just you be, need that in your just life. Just a random movie, or maybe I'll speak a word into it, and then it'll just go. I think that's a good idea. Right? Everybody, and maybe, like, if you're going on a date with, like, an artsy girl, you can get, like, a little... Prep course from your movie hipster. Somebody make this fucking app. Million movie dollar idea. Hipster. I think it's called IMDb. IMDb <laughs> doesn't give you self righteous opinions though. Come on now, that's what this app needs. To set it apart. The comments. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nick Sim says my sex talk was something like, "Hey, do you know what sex is?" And I said, "Yeah." And then my dad left. Like your house, like your whole family. <laughs> he just walked out. <laughs> yeah. Drop mic. Leaving your Wait. mom. And then he left your life? No, that's what I was saying. He just says, and then my dad left. And I'm like, did he leave your family? Yeah. Did he leave well, I guess he life? figured now that you know what sex is, you can spread his seed further, and he, his job is done. I don't know. William Craig says, best movie remake, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I don't think it's a remake. It's more of like a reboot. Mm. What's the difference between a remake and a reboot, Steve? Well, a remake would be taking the source material and then trying to accurately recreate that in a way. A reboot is taking the concept of the film and turning it upside down, much like RoboCop. Mm. This has been Hipster App. <laughs> See, I'm telling you. I get, I, all I want is like 2% of the proceeds. 2%, measly okay. 2%. I think Whoever that's makes not a lot to ask. I'll Maybe take 10. I'll creator. take 10% if you want my voice in there. My favorite wrestler, since we're talking about wrestlers, Hulk yeah. Hogan. We his, did, we talked about favorite wrestlers, Actually, Hulk his great. name is pronounced... Hulk Hogan. See, Megan Tan just, just posted that cover of that Hey Brother song, and all it does is make me think of Hulk Hogan, and he should do a version of that song. Hey, brother. You know something, brother? <laughs> yeah, what was that about. Hulk Hogan song that you brought in one day? In oh. The oh. world just lost another Hulkamaniac. <laughs> I love it. That literally happened in the office. Yeah. And you it happened and over friend. and over we'll and over. We'll up again. <laughs> When the holster comes to heaven. This is a real thing. They're not making it up. This well, is a kid. But a kid really died. All right, so on Table Talk, we talked about what you would like on your tombstone and what do you think Steve should have on his tombstone. Well, I want pepperoni and cheese, Yeah, is it please? weird that you say that and all I think is pizza? Well, I'll tell you what. There was that <laughs> massively popular marketing campaign, the campaign in the 80s, so none of you remember it. <laughs> Except yeah, for the I have never <laughs> seen you remember that. Oregon Trail? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what do you want on your tombstone? You'd always pass tombstones. They were like misspelled pepperoni and cheese. 
<laughs> Max Turtle says, George Carlin had the best idea for the epitaph on his tombstone. Jeez, he was just here a minute ago. Oh, that's good. Aww, that's good. That's, that's real cute. good. Uh, Sam Weldon says, I want an eco urn. It basically uses your ashes to go- grow a tree. That sounds great. I like that. I want to do it. I like that too. It's not a real thing. But what if you become a tree and then you're like a tree and you're like, oh, fuck, I'm a tree. I can't move. And birds what were you going to be before? Me. Like mud? Well, maybe you would come back to life. Or you'd be reincarnated. Well, that's it. a whole nother discussion for a whole other day. Oh. And that's oh, okay. another Don't you think? story. And, and Trisha says, no more of that. No, no. <laughs> I just feel like the whole rest of the episode will be what happens after you die. I would like to be buried with a sapling, probably some kind of kick-ass tree, like, I don't know, redwood, maybe like okay. a, a what, are, what else we got there? Like, what, like what, an oak? Talking about an oak. A pine. Okay. And then I want to be buried in Lake Tahoe, where the most beautiful trees in the world are, as far as I'm concerned. Mark Twain said Lake Tahoe was heaven on earth. Wait, That's so Samuel Clemens be... for all you kids that don't know that Mark Twain had a real name, and that was just his writing moniker. You want to be your dead body holding the sapling? No, I want to be ashed up. Oh, ashy. Yeah, uh-huh. ash me up. Burn me up, buttercup. Uh-huh. Yeah. Burn my body. Cook it. Extra crispy. Throw a little <laughs> A1 in there. It's getting... Oh boy. I want it to smell good. I want people to think someone's cooking ribs. Oh! I feel the tea on that one. <laughs> oh, I don't like this! You feel a tingle on that one? Zach Neubauer says, as the son of a mortician, they don't just bury you straight in the dirt. Nowadays, they place the coffin in a concrete box, then place on a concrete lid. Mm-hmm. I think they started that started so it would be easier to remove the coffin if they had to exhume the body or move it to Oof. a different plot. Oof. Did you not know that? No, I didn't know what went in the cement yeah. thing. See, is it weird that I'm like, I don't think that's depressing. I'm like, oh, how interesting. Did you not know that? Did you I know they know did the cement no. thing? Because see, the really? last time, like, when my grandfather was buried when I was young, now this was in the 90s, they, like, I saw them put the dirt on Where'd there. they do that? In, like, a like a few What part of the world? Ohio. When my grandfather passed, like, I'd say maybe 10 or so years ago here in California, they totally put them in, like, the coffin was put into a concrete thing, and then they put a concrete lid on top of it. Wow. Yeah, and you know, I worked yeah. by a very famous cemetery uh, where the Tin Man is buried, as well as John Candy, oh. and uh, oh, and Bella Lugosi's buried there too. Mm. We would walk by uh, during our lunch hour mm. and walk through the cemetery, and they would have totally those like little concrete things ready to put someone's so body in there. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You know, New Orleans is even crazier. You know what they yeah, do there? Yeah, above ground. Well, yeah. Mausoleums. Because it, the water would come in and flood, and then the bodies would come out of the ground. But not only that, mm. they throw all of your body into a bag, and they basically throw it into the wall in like a garbage bag and they'll throw your whole family into one bag. That sounds like a George R. R. Martin threat. I'll throw, your whole body. I'll throw your whole body into a bag. Oh, no. It's basically garbage bags in the wall filled with body parts. Probably centuries old. Oh, no. Merry Christmas. Stephen Colbert says, mine, get off me. Steve, don't take me out of the box. I'm in. That, I love it. Thank you, Stephen Colbert. I didn't know you watched Source Fed Nerd. I like I'm honored. You get a t-shirt. I hope this is your size. Uh, <laughs> we'll actually contact your YouTube user inbox to get your size. And this is, uh, you get the Joiner Dad shirt from the For Human People channel. Stephen Colbert, will you wear it on the Colbert Report? Please? We did our new head-to-head four-way play. Four-play. Four-way. Four-way. <laughs> Three-way four-play. <laughs> we did uh, our new head-to-head show, four-play, with Star Fox 64. And much to your guys' happiness, we brought in the Nintendo 64 because of our editors choosing some new games. And I know you yeah. guys are very excited about that. And guess who won Star Fox 64? This guy. He did. This guy right and here. And guess who got second place? This girl. <laughs> nice and work. And I got third. Yay. Not bad. Yay. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Matthias Clan says, anyone else kind of hoping for a Pokemon Stadium tournament? I brought it up. I want to do all the mini games. So here's hoping that eventually Ooh. we get to do like the sweet like Scyther log chop thing. That was awesome. Ulysses Nico says, I didn't know this game had multiplayer. Well, guess what? It does. John Ralph says, Meg Turney is this generation's Jamie Lee Curtis. I don't know how to take that. I don't know <laughs> what that means. Does that mean that you were born a dude? That is not true. What does she have, it's male hormones? A, it's no. a, <laughs> yeah, it is true. Cruel true. rumor. Lasers Go Pew 208 says, I got so damn excited when Steve won. Yeah. I screamed at my TV and my dog left the room growling at me. 
He was sleeping. Oh man, I'm sorry that I inadvertently woke up your dog, but I'll tell you what, that dog is gonna go back to sleep and enjoy its life of leisure. Is that just a commentary on the life of all dogs? On the life of all dogs. Chris in a Box production says, this game was my goddamn childhood. I feel like my family almost killed each other of this game. They probably almost killed themselves because it's so stupidly hard. I love it. I fucking love it. It just looked like all the all the background was like camo, so you couldn't tell where things were until they Well, that's right why you gotta look you. at your HUD. Yeah. And you gotta see the dots, and you gotta head towards oh, the I dots. Oh, I did. We did that. We did that. <laughs> well, I don't know what else to say then. <laughs> well, then that's it for Battle this episode roll! of Nerd Do a Capcom. Roll. Thank when you guys got... so much for joining us. We got super cool stuff coming up this mm-hmm. weekend, including Movie Club, New Movie Thing Show, and Bloops. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. Thanks for watching. Yay. Do I'm a Meg barrel Turner. roll. You said, I'm Meg Turney, and I just, it, my initial reaction was, hi, Meg Turney. Uh, are we in AA? I don't know, I guess. Hi, Meg. Aww. I've been in Nerd Com Com for one hour. That sounded like a mixture of AA and, like, confession for Catholics. Oh.